Hello, I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. In this question, we are given a quadratic form 2x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square plus 2x1 x2 minus 2x1 x3 minus 4x2 x3. From this quadratic form, we are going to construct a matrix and then we will reduce the matrix into canonical form. From the canonical form, we will get the rank, index, signature and nature of the quadratic form. Let us see how we can represent a quadratic form as a matrix. Here, each element in the matrix is the coefficient of the quadratic form. In row 1, the first element will be the coefficient of x1 square. Second element will be the coefficient of x1, x2. And third element will be the coefficient of x1, x3. In the second row, the first element will be the coefficient of x1, x2. The second element will be the coefficient of x2 square. The third element will be the coefficient of x2, x3. In third row, the first element will be the coefficient of x1, x3. The 
the second element will be x2 x3 the third element will be the coefficient of x3 square here in this matrix we are going to write the coefficient of x1 square x2 square x3 square without any change but for the rest of elements the coefficient will be divided by 2 here the coefficient of x1 square is 2 so we write the first row element as 2 the second element in the first row is the coefficient of x1 x2 that is 2 we divide it with 2 and write the element as 1. The third element in the first row is the coefficient of x1, x3 that is minus 2. We divide it by 2 we get minus 1. The second row, the first element is coefficient of x1, x2, that is 2. We divide it with 2 and write the element as 1. The second row, second element is the coefficient of x2 square here the coefficient of x2 square is 1 and third element will be the coefficient of x2 x3 that is minus 4 we divide it with and write the element as minus 2. In third row, the first element is the coefficient of x1, x3 that is minus 2. We divide it with 2 and write the element as minus 1. In third row, the second element will be the coefficient of x2, x3, that is minus 4. We divide it with 2, write the element as minus 2. The third element will be the coefficient of x3 square, that is coefficient of x3 square is 1 write the element as 1 Diagonalize the matrix A equal to 2, 1, minus 1, 
second row is 1 1 minus 2 third row is minus 1 minus 2 1 diagonalization can be done by orthogonal transformation and similarity transformation to do orthogonal transformation the matrix have to be real symmetric for a matrix to be symmetric the transpose of the matrix a should be equal to matrix a itself here the rows of matrix a are color coded this is for you to easily understand how the transpose of the matrix is done here we have matrix a to write the transpose of the matrix write the first row as first column and second row as second column and third row as third column as you can see here a and a transpose are same therefore the given matrix is symmetric since the matrix is symmetric, we can diagonalize the matrix using orthogonal transformation. First of all, we have to find the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation is mod A minus lambda i equal to 0. subtract lambda from leading diagonal elements then result of a minus lambda i becomes mod 2 minus lambda one minus 1 1 1 minus lambda minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus lambda equal to 0. Normal method to obtain the characteristic equation is to take the determinant of a minus lambda i. But here we are using another method which saves a lot of time. General form of characteristic equation can be written as lambda cube minus d1 lambda square plus d2 lambda minus d3 equal to 0. Here, D1 is the sum of diagonal elements.
therefore d1 equal to 2 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 4. D2 is the sum of minus of the leading diagonal elements. First diagonal element is 2 and just ignore the elements in the first row and first column of the matrix. The rest of the elements form the minor of the leading diagonal element 2. That is mode 1 minus 2 minus 2 1 plus. The next diagonal element is 1. And ignoring the elements in the second row and second column. The rest of the elements form the minus of the leading diagonal elements 1. That is 2 minus 1 minus 1 and 1. plus last diagonal element is 1 ignoring the elements in the third row and third column the rest of the elements form the minus of the leading diagonal element 1 That is mode 2, 1 and 1, 1. After cross multiplying the terms, we get 1 minus 4 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 which is equal to minus 3 plus 1 plus 1 equal to minus 1. D3 equal to determinant of A. Determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is given by a11 into minor of a11 Here a11 is 2 and minor of a11 is mode 1 minus 2 minus 2 1 minus a12 into minor of a12 Here, 
a12 is 1 and minor of a12 is 1 minus 2 minus 1 1. plus a13 into minor of a13. Here a13 is minus 1 and minor of a13 is one one minus one minus two let us cross multiply the terms inside the minus then the equation becomes two into one minus four minus one into one minus two minus one into minus two plus one two into one minus four is minus three minus one minus two is minus one minus one into minus two plus one is minus one which is equal to minus four We know that the characteristic equation is lambda cube minus d1 lambda square plus d2 lambda minus d3 equal to 0. Substituting the values of d1, d2, d3 in the equation, we get lambda cube minus 4 lambda square minus lambda plus 4 equal to 0. In the equation, lambda cube minus 4 lambda square minus lambda plus 4 equal to 0. Degree is 3. This means that the equation will have 3 roots. The 4 here is the product of those three roots. The factors of 4 is 1, 2 and 4. For solving the equation using trial and error method, put the value of lambda as plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2 or plus or minus 4. lambda is equal to 1 in characteristic equation then lambda cube minus 4 lambda square minus lambda plus 4 equal to 0 becomes 1 cube minus 4 into 1 square minus 1 plus 4 which is equal to One plus four is five. 
minus 4 minus 1 equal to minus 5 which is equal to 0. Therefore, lambda is an eigenvalue. For finding the other two eigenvalues, we have to factorize the equation. For that, we use synthetic division method. The characteristic equation is lambda cube minus 4 lambda square minus lambda plus 4 equal to 0. Coefficient of the characteristic equation is written down. Coefficient of lambda cube is 1. Coefficient of lambda square is minus 4. Coefficient of lambda is minus 1. Plus 4. We take the divisor as 1 since lambda equal to 1. 1 is brought down and 1 is multiplied with divide and the result is written below minus 4 adding minus 4 plus 1 which is equal to minus 3 Again, minus 3 is multiplied with 1, then the result is minus 3 is and we write it below minus 1 and add minus 1 and minus 3, we get minus 4. And again multiply minus 4 with 1 we get the result as minus 4 which is written below positive 4 and add minus 4 plus 4 we get the result 0. Now we have second degree polynomial after division. Lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 equal to 0. On further factorizing, lambda square minus 3 ma lambda minus 4 equal to 0, we get the factors as lambda minus 4 into lambda plus 1 equal to 0. Then we get the result. lambda equal to 4 and lambda equal to minus 1. Consider lambda equal to 1 as case 1. Subtract the value of lambda from diagonal elements 
of matrix A. Then we get the matrix as first row as 1, 1, minus 1. And the second row is 1, 0, minus 2. And third row is minus 1, minus 2, 0 into x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Here x1, x2, x3 forms the eigenvector. For finding the value of x1, x2, x3, use the following method. x1 by minor of a11 here, a minor of a11 is 0, minus 2, minus 2, 0. And cross multiplying, we get 0, minus 4. Equal to minus x2 by minor of a12. Here, minor of a12 is 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0. And cross multiplying, we get 0, minus 2, equal to x3 by minor of a13. Minor of a13 is 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. And cross multiplying, the minus, minus 2, plus 0. Eliminating common factor minus 2 from denominator, then we get x1 by 2 equal to x2 by minus 1 equal to x3 by 1 that gives the vector x1 equal to 2 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 1 is the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 1 Now consider the case lambda equal to 4. Subtract the value of lambda from diagonal elements of the matrix A. Then we get the matrix as minus 2, 1, minus 1. And the second row is 1, minus 3, minus 2. And the third row is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 into x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Minor of a11. Here, minor of a11 is minus 3, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3. And cross multiplying, we get 9 minus 4 equal to minus x2 by minor of a12 here minor of a12 is 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 and cross multiplying 
minus 3 minus 2 equal to x3 by minor of a13 here minor of a13 is 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 and cross multiplying we get minus 2 minus 3 that is equal to x1 by 5 x2 by 5, x3 by minus 5. Eliminating common factor 5 from denominator, we get x1 by 1, x2 by 1, x3 by minus 1. That gives the vector x2 as 1, 1, minus 1. Then 1, 1, minus 1 is the eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to 4. Lambda equal to minus. Subtract the value of lambda from di. We get the matrix as 3 minus 1 and the second row uh, 1 2 minus 2 And the third row is minus 1, minus 2, 2 into x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. x1 by minor of a11. Here, minor of a11 is 2, minus 2, minus 2, 2. And cross multiplying, we get 4, minus 4 equal to minus x2 by minor of a12 minor of a12 is 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 and cross multiplying we get 2 minus 2 equal to x3 by minor of a13 The minor of a13 is 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. And cross multiplying, we get 2 plus 2. That gives x1 by 0, x2 by 0, x3 by 0. This method fails because all the elements in the denominator are zero. Since the second and third row are identical, method fails. Therefore, we have to take a pair of rows which are not identical so in this case we take row 1 and row 2 instead of x1 by minor of a11 we take x1 by minor of a31 
here the minor of a31 is One minus one, two minus two, and after cross multiplying, we get minus two plus two. Equal to minus x two by minus of a three one. Here the minor of a three two is three minus one one minus two, and after cross multiplying, we get minus six plus one. And equal to x three by minor of a three three here the minor of a three three is three one one two and after cross multiplying we get Six minus one, which is equal to x one by zero, equal to x two by five, x three by five. Eliminating common factor five from denominator. We get x one by zero equal to x two by one equal to x three by one. That gives the vector x three is equal to zero one one. Zero one one is the eigen vector. Corresponding to lambda equal to minus one. X one is the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equal to one. And x two is the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equal to four. And x three is the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equal to minus one. Eigen vectors x one and x two, x three form the model matrix. Then vector x one becomes column one, and vector x two becomes column two. Vector x three becomes column three of the model matrix. Now to convert model matrix into normalized model matrix. Take the square root of sum of squares of each column. The square root of sum of squares of first column elements are. Root of two square plus minus one square plus one square, which is equal to root six. Now, 
we divide the first column with root 6. Then we get the normalized eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 1 as Two by root six minus one by root six one by root six. The square root of sum of squares of second column elements are root of one square plus one square plus minus one square, which is equal to root three, and divide the second column with root three. Then we get the normalized eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 4 as one by root three, one by root three minus one by root three. And the square root of the sum of squares of third column elements are root of 0 square plus 1 square plus 1 square which is equal to root 2 and divide the third column with root 2. Then we get the normalized eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to minus 1 as 0 1 by root 2 1 by root 2. Now to diagonalize the matrix, use the formula D equal to Q transpose AQ. Where Q transpose is the transpose of normalized model matrix and A is the given matrix. and Q is the normalized model matrix. After multiplying these three matrices, we get the diagonalized matrix D equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. The most important thing you have to understand here is for every diagonalized matrix, the principal diagonal elements will be the eigenvalues of the given matrix and all other elements will be 0. Therefore, orthogonal transformation reduce the quadratic form to canonical form by 1 by 1 square plus 4 by 2 square plus minus 1 by 3 square. Now, we have to find the rank of the quadratic form. Rank of the quadratic form is number of non-zero rows in canonical form. Here, the number of non-zero rows is 3. Therefore, Rank of the quadratic form is 3.
No. What is index? Index is the number of positive terms in the canonical form. Or in other words, the number of positive eigenvalues in the canonical form. In this question, we have three eigenvalues that is 1, 4 and minus 1. Here is only two positive numbers that is 1 and 4. Therefore, index p is equal to 2. Signature is twice the product of index minus rank. Here index p is equal to 2 and rank equal to 3. Signature equal to two into two minus three, which is equal to one. Finally, the nature of the quadratic form. In this question, quadratic form contains both positive and negative terms. Here we have two positive eigenvalues that is 1 and 4 and also have a negative eigenvalue that is minus 1. Therefore, the quadratic form is indefinite in nature.